Hey guys, what's up? This is Gallman. Welcome to a sponsored Let's Play of Destroy All Humans on the PC. This is a remake of the 2005 Destroy All Humans, which is honestly really surprising to me. I always wanted to play the original Destroy All Humans and just kind of never got around to it because I was a kid when it came out originally. Uh, so I'm excited to be able to play a big remake that just completely visually overhauls everything. And they've even made some from what I've seen, some gameplay adjustments as well to make it a little bit more on the modern side, which is great. So let's go ahead and enjoy our first invasion of Earth. Humans of planet Earth, be advised, while the experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of the Furons remains a near identical clone. The story, words, and images contained within may be shocking to the modern human brain. They're saying there might be some shit that's a little bit more offensive. It was a different time in 2005. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there? Hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. Tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars. You know, sometimes I look up in space and be like, man, I wonder what's out there. Five. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. <laughs> Did we just initiate an intergalactic war by accident? I mean, he didn't get a chance to fire his gun, so, like, that's good. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word, constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this, but the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! <laughs> I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? <laughs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? 
our destination. The planet Earth. Ooh, our planet! So I think that uh, in this game called Destroy All Humans, they're planning on trying to destroy all the humans. And how are we going to facilitate that? I don't know. Also, is my name just going to be 137 the entire time? Ooh. New mission. Destination Earth. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? I haven't collected any DNA yet, but you know, well, we, we can talk about it soon. And then there's tutorials. And a couple other things, oh, I can select some different skins. Oh man, I have to actually do the missions in order to see them. I want to see previews to see what I want. Alright, then let's start our first mission, Destination Earth. Distract enemies, including agents, sneak past them. Or I could just blow them up. Who needs sneaking? We probably need sneaking. You know, that's such a small light, considering things. Oh god, immediately? Uh. Orthobox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. <laughs> but they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! Fine, we, we investigate the nipple monsters. I mean, the cows. Encrypto, do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! So, alright, alright, let's just see how many things we can do. We can move, we can jump, show details. No, I don't actually need to know that many details. Also, I'm glad that the Orthopox decided to call me Crypto so quickly. He adopted our nickname as soon as possible. Lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. Mind read a marked creature. You've got it. <laughs> Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. All right, all right, all right, all right. You, what are your thoughts, cow? Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. Or they're just simple creatures. They eat with their mouths. Ah, 
I think I'm going to be violently ill. What do you eat with, Crypto? Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. Oh <laughs> god, what are we gonna do? We Furongs have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Optional objective, drown a cow in the Use lake. PG Whoa. To finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Ooh, ooh, ouch. Water was hurting me. What's that little dude doing over there? Yeah. Okay, well, I can't do anything about that. Curse these creatures. You, you can go flying into the sun. Fly, my wonderful bovine. Good work, nice. Mm, Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute, that ain't steak, that's... Holy mother Martha, give me the shotgun! Oh god, it's a human! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer! Whoa, 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 he's shooting a shotgun at me! What if I just want to hit him with the fucking cow? Okay, fine. Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. Extract DNA. Press the button to speed it up. You can consume That's true. We're very much just a, a shade of gray. Do we have the bridge in there? Oh. Shields. As long as shields have energy, they protect you from harm. A gauge showing the current uh, charge appears when the shield isn't fully charged. When you get hit or touch water, shield energy depletes. Some impacts deal more damage than others. If not damaged further, the shield slowly recharges after a few seconds. The shield bar turns red when it's out of energy. Any hit could be lethal. Dodge projectiles or retreat from battle until shields begin recharging. Collecting brain stems reduces the shield charge uh, delay. The saucer also has a shield. To recharge, use its drain ability on humans or vehicles instead. The saucer shield doesn't recharge automatically. Ooh, okay, so when we're in the saucer, we gotta be careful. Be merciless! Let none survive! Okay, well, we gotta we gotta go ahead and kill some people. Oh, we have a lock on mode, nice. Uh, yeah, I probably will do the speed up drain fairly often. I'm gonna kill somebody with. Yeah! Nope, never mind. Ow, God, ow! Point blank shots! I was gonna say life raft. I don't. I forgot the name of it. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's a life circle. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green face man. Oh, what is oh, that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old crypto. That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Okay, all right, I'll rush on over, but you have to hear me oh, out. Oh, the Furonity. 
Vaporize them, crypto! Ooh, jetpack! Enables flight! Watch the fuel level! Alright, well, uh, I wanted to get my... Kill the farmer's wife using a chicken. You have the right to get your arse kicked. Well, there is no chicken over here, so I have to take this guy around with us. Also, what is this guy? Oh! Find uh, down Furon probes to gain extra DNA and unlock Furonigami art. Cool. Yeah! I got the bonus! Can I pick this up? No? Alright. Uh, no! I have to kill the police officers first! I mean, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Destroy all humans, am I right? Your death rate, destroy buildings. Well, we don't got the most objective, so you got it. Just blow up everything. What happened here? All the buildings just erupted simultaneously. I don't know. Oh, they brought a tank over here? They were ready. Move up, man! Move, move, move! That's the guy who captured my other guy! The 136! I don't know, but I've been, know, but I've been told. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! You've got orthopox! These guys can't, like, hurt me, hurt me, can they? I hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans! He did it! He said the title! Avoid shield damage. Okay, you got it. I mean, they can't really do much to me. Ooh. So I can either fire my laser beam or, or like at least straight out like this or I can shoot it downwards there are more to by the locking on. How about I just drain their brains? That's a good idea. The humans are making a final push. Wipe them out one side for all. Hold up, I need brains. All the brains. Can you guys leave me alone, okay? I am draining brains from the corpse of your allies, which I forgot could be a thing, because I didn't know I could drain from the saucer. You know what? I'm draining your brain live. Excellent work, Crypto. Thank you, Orthopox. It's easy peasy to destroy all the humans. It's a shame it's gonna take so long to actually take over the world. What is this, the Men in Black? People who already know about us? Did you see what I saw? 
You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right, good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. <laughs> you know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. <laughs> so who what, what are they gonna do to try and retaliate? It doesn't matter. Rewards 1000 DNA and new artwork. And we got 100% completion with all the bonus objectives. Cattle mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. <laughs> Only the farmer? Not the farmer and literally everything else around it? Oh, okay. They actually have like a little bit of information written down. Farmer Joe's prized cattle herd, including Bessie, his famous blue ribbon winning Holstein, was found dead under gruesome circumstances. Given the scale of the carnage and the lack of evidence to suge uh, suggest cattle rustlers, it is alleged that Farmer Joe's long years on the farm rewards... A uh, circuit led him to seek more creative and sinister methods of beautifying his beloved bovines. His entire herd was found... S I can't read that because it's covered up. Uh, slaughtered to the last cow in what is the biggest cow-related plastic surgery mishap in recent memory. Farmer Joe, meanwhile, is missing. A rival farmer said, Don't surprise me he did something like this. Then wars went to his head. He always said he'd create the perfect cow. <laughs> We didn't abduct him, right? We just all right killed him. We haven't done any abductions yet. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Nice. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted, they represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. I mean, how many of the DNA things do you need? Do you need, like, a massive quantity for one Furon? Like, what, what, what's that about? Upgrade, perhaps. No? How about your gun or your abilities? Hmm? I mean, we can see what we have for, for us. Uh, we can upgrade the... Well, these are expensive. Thousand, a thousand five hundred. Chain to additional targets increases the ba the battery charge. I really don't know what I want to spend my first points on. Increases the death raise charge capacity. I kind of want to save my points because I don't really, you know what? No, iridium arc splitter. Boom. What's our next mission, Pox? Earth women are delicious. That sounds menacing, but okay. Explore area to retrieve Furon probes. There's 25? Holy hell. No, thank you. No, thank you. I do not want to hunt 25 of those drones. Although maybe there's a way to detect them. If there's a way to detect them, that's completely different. If Hollow Bob is comprised, can eliminate all human witnesses. What the hell is a Hollow Bob? And why is it a human hologram? Crypto! 
I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human, and lead it back to your ship for questioning. Get the picture? Sure. Enter the fair. The eye icon shows whether or not a human is looking at you. The blue icon shows you are still disguised or unnoticed. The alert level will not increase. The eye icon lights up when humans see an alien or an alien activity. When the gauge is red, prevent the alert at a level from increasing by neutralizing human witnesses. The gauge turns yellow if witnesses escape, activating the corresponding alert levels. The first level just increases human awareness, while higher levels are more hazardous. During stealth missions, stay below the indicated threshold or the mission will fail. Lower the alert level by first uh, uh, by first escaping to break line of sight, and then laying low or activating a hollow bot. Crypto! That human is aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those human policemen and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Reset a mark creature's rares? Oh yeah, sure, here you go. You don't know I'm here. Don't forget to disguise yourself, Crypto. You're not exactly inconspicuous. Oh. Did I just absorb him? Use the hollow bob ability to take on a holographic human disguise. The target meanwhile, human, meanwhile, is frozen and invisible. Oh, uh, okay. Scanning human brains with cortex scan regenerates hollow uh, bob. Hollow bob will drop if it's not regularly recharged. Okay, so I have this go around scanning humans as I, as I walk about. Using powerful mental abilities weapons or other offensive actions disrupts hollow bob making it deplete faster and briefly revealing crypto hollow bob will be compromised if humans witnesses activation or its disruption neutralize them use forget or escape to restore hollow bob now that you're sufficiently Ooh. disguised continue using the cortex scan to maintain the illusion you wouldn't want to lose concentration while surrounded by enemies sure but uh these humans aren't available for me to to scan at the moment. I guess we'll have to go over here. This police officer trying to pee peer into the car. I want to be a cowboy, but who would be my cowgirl? <laughs> now, if I could just find a cowboy, an Indian, and a construction worker, I could form that singing group down at the village. What would we call ourselves? The city people, the village folks, or something? What's up with them and all the cowboy and cowgirl talk? What we need is the dumbest, weakest willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. Alright. What about this guy? Man, oh man. She might be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. This human seems to be on to something. Will Wonders level cease. Keep scanning the humans. Well, he talked about a uh, Miss Rockwell, so it's probably a Miss Rockwell contestant. No thoughts? No thoughts at all? That Ike seems like the guy I'd want to have over for a barbecue. He's got my vote. Not that sleazebag Huffman. Man, oh man, she might be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Hell of a metaphor. <laughs> yes, yes. Like proteins from the primordial ooze, a pattern is emerging. Scan some more human minds, Crypto. Don't worry, I'm on it. Yeah, 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 town's doing great, business is booming, hope is on the way, yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. Okay, so what's going on? Is this the Miss Rockwell? made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or was it by the sea? So how are we going to convince right, them? Crypto. 
I have analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to... Probe and vaporize? No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. <laughs> okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. It might, Can you I never know. Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Oh, hypnotizing. Okay, we don't have to do any any charismatic checks. On a puny human brain. Bend its will to ours. You've got it. Implanting command. I want to thank all the little people, but there's no time. Gotta go. Escort Miss Roswell to the saucer. Escort Miss Rockwell posing as the mayor. Wait, forget it. Enjoy the mayor. Oh, and don't ride the mangler. It's a freaking death trap. Martha, must keep going. Feet killing me. Damn heels. Speak up, whoever's there. Okay, look, I got a new hollow bob. I was trying to go for the bonus objective, but uh, I don't know how I was supposed to do Wait, that. I left my purse in the tent. I must go to the dark and mysterious woods. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people who go into dark and mysterious woods, especially not in fairy tales or slasher films. Not that I know what those are. Nope. Nothing to worry about here. I don't remember parking here. Of course, I can't ever remember where I parked. My car seems bigger and rounder <laughs> Are you... and saucer shaped. Saucer no. shaped. This is just like my dream. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. And lots of wavy hair like Libra. Wait a minute. Where am I? Uh, this sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh, God. Please. No. Oh, oh, it, it tickled. <laughs> it's probing time. Oh, yeah. Right there. That's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. Well, we gotta find out human information somehow. Are we just leaving? Or do we gotta blow people up? I'm fine with both. Hurry, Crypto! The authorities are on their way! Get in your saucer! Wreak havoc by using your saucer's abducto beam to levitate a creature or object. Ooh! Well, it probably isn't going to cause too much destruction to lift up a person. But I'll definitely mix and match it. Eh. Nice. Our bonus objective requires us to destroy stuff with the abducto beam. Thankfully, all I had to do is throw a person. And it works. Sometimes I have to throw like a person two or three times. All right, this one we're just gonna blow up with a beam. No, there we go. I wanted to take the car. Nice. Oh, yeah, that would be a building for us to take out. Hello. Can 
Can I take your wreckages and hit the Ferris wheel with it? Yeah! It, it stopped the Ferris wheel moving, but it didn't destroy it. Oh, well, those poor three ladies that are just standing there just got squashed. We did 90% of the things. I just didn't know how to pose as the mayor. Disaster at Rockfell, uh, Rockwell Fair. Fairground left in tires by freak storm. Ah, yes, a storm. Miss Rockwell committed to Shady Pine Sanitarium. Half a dozen local pastors of the first uh, churches of Rockwell have banded together, citing the Miss Rockwell page, uh, pageant as a sign of socialist leanings, bringing down judgment from above. An anonymous source close to the judge insists, the opportunities given by the pageant are so important for young gals, how else will they get an, uh, uh, an MRS? And what's wrong with the baby changing portion? Baby changing portion? Oh my gosh.